my dear students hope you all doing good and staying safe during this crisis time hello children welcome to class 6 i am your social science teacher today we are going to see about the topic what is history children history is nothing but study of the past like watching your past photographs how do you know about the events happened in your family children from your grandfather and from your grandmother right in the same way when the past events are studied carefully and systematically on the basis of available material reminders and records it is called history so what is history children history is the study of past events in the chronological order chronological order means arrangement of events what happened so it is only by studying history we can know about the origin of our society and beliefs the term history has been derived from the greek word historia which means learning by enquiry historians in history historians are the people who studies history and records the findings of the past historians have divided our past into two parts prehistoric period and historic period what is prehistoric period children it is the period between the use of first stone tools and the invention of writing systems at the beginning man did not lead a settled life they were nomads and wandered from place to place he did not know how to read and write the pe period of man's existence for which we have no written record is called prehistory now we are going to learn about historic period historic period is the period where written records like inscriptions paintings and source materials are available about places people and their habits children these are the words you have to know in history first to one is excavation excavation is the process in which people dig the earth to find things that were used long ago next one is archaeologist archaeologist study the history of humans and places through excavation and analyze artifacts next is numismatics numismatics is the study of coins next one is epigraphy epigraphy is the study of inscription that is scripts found on temple walls rock edicts pillars etc then now we are going to learn about prehistoric period we can understand the period and lifestyles of people of old stone age from new stone tools so the stone age is the prehistoric period in which stones were used as weapons prehistoric period can be classified as paleolithic age mesolithic age neolithic age chalcolithic age iron age paleolithic age means old stone age mesolithic age means middle stone age neolithic age means new stone age chalcolithic age means copper age iron age means irons were used as weapons now i am going to explain you paleolithic period paleolithic period started 10000 years before christ paleolithic period people were nomads they don't live in one place they lived in forest and caves they were hunters and food gatherers they ate raw food like fruits paleolithic humans wore leaves and skin of animals they used bones and horns of animals as weapons 
Mesolithic age is called Middle Stone Age. Mesolithic age started 8000 years before Christ. Neolithic age is the period between 10,000 to 4,000 years before Christ. During this period, people began to cultivate crops. Then they domesticated animals like goat, cow and hen. They also domesticated dog, which helped in hunting. They made sharp stone weapons with the help of other stones to hunt animals and tear the flesh of animals. Next one, Chalcolithic age is called as Copper age. Copper age is the period between 3000 to 1500 BC. In this period, both stone and copper were used. Next one is Iron age. Iron age is the period between 1500 to 600 BC. Children, now I am going to show you some tools used during Paleolithic age. These are the stone tools and weapons used during Paleolithic age. Metal tools. These are the metal tools and weapons used during metal age. During the prehistoric period, early man used quartzite, a type of stone for making tools and weapons. Then, a type of stone called flint stone was used to produce fire. This is the hunting scene of Stone Age people. This picture shows the hunting skills of early humans. Children, this is the activity to you all. Guess and find the age of the period. Have you all find out? Check the answers. First picture is Paleolithic age. Second one is Iron age. Third one is Mesolithic age. Fourth one is Neolithic age. Fifth one is Chalcolithic age. Now we are going to learn about timeline. Timeline is the record of the past events. Historians use the birth of Jesus Christ as the reference date. That is the beginning of calendar. So the year after his birth is written as AD or CE. Here AD means Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. CE stands for Common Era. AD increase towards the right side. That is from 0 to 2500. The year before the birth of Jesus Christ are counted backwards and written as BC or BCE, where BC stands for Before Christ or Before Common Era. BCE increase towards the left side, that is from 0 to 2500. 100 years equal to 1 century. Now we are in the 21st century. Children, now I will show you rock paintings drawn by our ancient people in the caves. This is animal painting. See zebra. Children's painting. People with long hair painting, works painting, sun painting, boat painting, water animal painting, handprint painting. Fear painting, 
expressions painting. See here, this is dotted painting found in the caves. Dance painting. Group, group of human paintings. X-ray painting, hunting scenes, Thank you children. We will meet in the next class. Bye.